it's Sam at Counting Countries Clan. You're joining me for part two of our Arvia celebration in Jersey. It's a quick trip to the beach before a delicious lunch at Nude Food with a rum masterclass from Harry at the Tidal Rum. All the time, this light is yours and it's mine. Drive as far as the eyes can see, it's a big old world when we're wild and free. So wave goodbye to city lights, our future starts tonight. Hey guys, this is Tidal Rum. It's a blend of four golden age Caribbean rums infused with pepper and seaweed. That we forage here in Jersey. So yeah, the, the pepper also gives a kind of light salty caramel finish. Oh, the I can smell it. Mm. Um, oh, thank you. So our, our kind of premium serve, our top serve, uh, is tidal fresh lime soda. So high mm. glass, lots of ice, yeah. a um, dash of Angostura bitters, half a lime squeezed, <laughs> and top with a good soda. That sounds delicious. Uh, kind of refreshing. Drink of water. Naturally low calorie. Um, almost like a that moment when you walk through the rock pools, breathing that sea air. Cheers. 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 Lovely guys. Thank you. Cheers. <laughs> of local chefs. I'm normally the Michelin star guy, some in, in London and up towards Scotland as well. Um, so one of the chefs you're going to be going to later is Nick. He's a brilliant guy, French guy. Um, and he's been working at the Grand for years, coming up with really cool bespoke menus. And he's one of the guys most excited by foraging. So I do loads of foraging for him. So I've been picking things like last night, like different types of seaweed, elderberries, um, different kinds of sea beans, rockets all loads of different kind of stuff. The beauty about Jersey is because it's so small and on a low tide I can be out there getting up to 40 different types of seaweed and shellfish. The next minute I'm coming inland getting 40 to 50 different types of things from trees to plants to mushrooms. I want to show you a few coastal edible plants around towards the sea wall. We're going to get blown away a little bit but it's worth it. In general is very popular in alcohols because it works really well and these guys are doing some cool stuff with this as well i love sampire do you like do you yeah. like it i love sampire so you, you've got i don't know which one you're talking about because there is another version it doesn't look quite like that no so you've got marsh, sam, marsh sampire so what you do get here is the rock sampire which i think works amazing in alcohol this basically shape of flower is our umbrella fry family it's like the pushed out umbrella family and there's lots of different edible plants including carrot bog fennel while parsley, hogweed, hemlock and all those ones. So you get a bit of salty carrotness. Some people with gourmet taste buds tell me they get citrus notes and flavours pushing up the nostrils. So you might be one of those. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or you might not be. I'm gonna give this a go. Apparently it's like marmite, so we'll, we'll <sighs> try. <laughs> okay. Oh, that's um, lovely. That's really nice. It's like feedback, celery. Feedback. Reminds me of celery. Celery. Okay, yeah, yeah. cool. We're only out, out, a bit spiky, but it's good. Yeah. Um, yeah. And so he expensive. only takes this, even though it's the same flavour, he only takes Which this. It's really nice. Mm. This is water mint. It's more for flavouring stuff, mint teas and stuff like this. So I recommend snap a, snap a stem and just do a bit of a scratch and sniff, like bruise it in your hand. He said like scrunch it up. It does. It's really nice. This is just yep. softening the blow before you go through these brambles. <laughs> <laughs> so it has a thing called oxalic acid in this one, it's common sorrel. So when you eat it, it's super sour, really tart. The whole thing. Whole thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go on. Yeah. 
Oh, we're done. Oh, we're done. Oh, we're done. Mmm. It's like a beach. Like a lemon. Yeah. Or a big beach. Okay, so far I have no taste. Oh. Mm, see how that is? Mmm. That is definitely really. Mmm. So now you've said that. That is lush. Oh my god, that's lush. Is that stuff you really like? Mmm. That's probably the nicest thing I think we've had so far. <laughs> that's really good. Can I have some for the plane, Jim? <laughs> Sorry, just under wow. So I hope you all enjoy. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Oh yeah. <laughs> are not enough to describe just how incredible that meal was. We did so much in that one day in Jersey and I can't believe we started with zip lining and ended with that amazing meal. The time to fly home has come way too quickly but I'm so excited to give my boys a big squeeze. Jersey, you were amazing. If you haven't checked out part one of the video where you can see me zip lining and getting on the king swing, which is the most intense experience of my life, <laughs> um, then you can check out that video here. If you liked this video, then please hit subscribe and also that bell notification so you know when a new video is uploaded. Um, there's a lot going on at the moment. Jersey was just the second event um, in our Arvia tour um, and there are quite a few more things to come. Um, all in the next few weeks so please do hit subscribe hit the notification bell and we'll see you soon for now this is sam at counting countries clan and these are our ever after adventures